Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing this beautiful banner design you see on my screen. So if this is something you want to create with me, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we are going to do is to click on create a design. Okay, and um, yeah, I already have mine opened already. Okay, so let it load quickly and we would be starting soon. Okay, so you can see um, I actually got somewhere in the process and the thing is I was actually recording the video and uh, electricity went out. <laughs> so i'm just going to take it again so the first thing we are going to do is to come to photos okay and in photos you can search for a business photo okay so when i search for business um photos this is what i got so all i did was to right click and set image as background so this is something you know you should be able to do then the next thing you have to do is to click on your image come to edit image and in edit image you should wait for this section to load okay then you click on adjust and adjust you need to look for the blur option and you can increase your blur by 26 okay there about which is cool after you do that come to element okay and in element you're going to search for gradient so with the gradient option you need to look for this type of gradient which is able to take two different colors okay so all you need to do now is to increase the size okay just stretch it out so that it fits the entire um, banner canvas okay so now that we have this we click on it come to transparency and you reduce the transparency just a little bit okay so something like this is cool 69 and uh, you can also change your color so what you should keep in mind is the colors you use should be next to each other okay so for example you can see blue is always next to um purple that's why this gradient is looking very beautiful because a gradient is just a simple transition of colors okay so if let's say i want to choose red the red is also working because you, you can see the purple is also next to red and if i use um a yellow you can see this is not looking good at, at all so it's either i use red and with the second color can be a yellow okay the second color can be a yellow or i can use green okay then the second or the next color on my um gradient can be a blue you understand so you can see how beautiful it is or it can be a yellow but in this case i want to use the red and um, with the second color i want to use the purple we had over here so this is what we have at the moment okay so now that you have this, the next thing you're going to do is to come back to photos and in photos we are going to search for guy pointing okay so when you do that you should find an image without a background that's what we are going to be using it if you're on the free version of canva you can use background removers like um remove.bg and sticker slash trees or the other option you can do is to filter your images by clicking on this button and choose cut out only okay so in this case when you apply the filters you can see how we have all of these um, interesting photos without a background okay so now i would use one of these images okay so this guy looks very cool to me so i can simply you know increase the size of this guy you understand and i can move him here or i can put him here then all i do is i would flip him okay so that he would look like this and i think it's looking very beautiful the next thing i am going to do is to add some text so you can press t on your keyboard for text okay and this is where and this is what we have at the moment so all i'm going to do is i am going to add my text and with this i would use one um font i have which is called um i i i just i think i've forgotten the name of this font i have but i i had to upload it into canva so let me switch within my brand kit now african geek because that's why i have all my fonts okay so you can see uploaded font and um i'll just choose any of this but what you can do is you can use Biba new you can use anton 
and um there are some fonts i shared with an instagram post okay this particular post you're seeing on the screen and um over there you should get some fonts you can use for this design so what you can do is you can just pause this video check instagram and find this post i'm talking about and i think i also leave the link to this you know to that post in the description so that it's easier for you to navigate quickly okay so now that we have this we are going to change our text so i'll just say creative okay so c-r-e-a-t-i-v-e -E. okay and then i would increase the size okay then click away and move it here and maybe i'll just reduce the logo okay so and i'll duplicate and i'll say business so b-u-s-i-n-e-s-s -S -S. okay so all i just want to say is we are a creative business solutions agency something like that or we are a business a creative business um agency you understand so i would duplicate my text again okay so just duplicate and i can say agency all right so now that we have this i also click away arrange it making sure all of these things are you know tidied up in terms of the space we have in between so you can select all of them come you know to the triple dots if you are using the canva desktop and you see position so with position just choose vertical you understand and it would arrange all the text nicely for you okay so i will use the text a little bit okay and um, i will duplicate this one bring it to the top and i'll say we are okay we are just to make it friendly a little bit okay so then you click away and um yeah so i bring this here so now what i'm going to do is i select all of these texts and i would simply rotate them a little bit you understand and i bring it next to this gentleman we have here so now what we are going to do is we'll use creative colors so with this i can use a yellow only if the yellow will work well a nice one okay and um, this can also be a white this can be a yellow again but this time around i would come to effect and in fact i'll choose hollow okay then i'll reduce the size of it you understand so this is what i have at the moment and i would choose a white for this one okay so white so you can see what we have at the moment or we can also i bring them interestingly so what we can do is we can bring this right on top here select this bring it also on top select this and increase the size okay so that at least you know you're just trying to be creative with your your designs depending on <clears throat> what you want <clears throat> sorry my truth <laughs> i was losing my voice okay so this is what we have at the moment so i'll select all of this move it to the top a little bit and um, let me just lock this one okay so that we just don't move it we just don't move it around and um, another thing i would love to do is with this one i'd love to apply the shadow okay and i will choose a black for the color okay then increase the blurriness of it you understand and we'll do the same for this one also so you choose shadows and you come to color you change the color to black then you simply have to increase the blurring so that you can have an interesting looking design like this so we are not done we just have to add some few more details the next thing we are going to do is to search you know come to element first and search for facebook okay so facebook and um, with that we are just going to add some social media icons to make our design look very interesting so we have you know this one over here which is cool i drag it here and i reduce the size i select the instagram okay also over here i drag it here okay then i reduce the size of it also okay then maybe if you want to add twitter or any other one you can also do that so yeah i would add twitter okay so i come here okay and i reduce the size so you can see 
what we have done so now to tidy it up i just hold shift and select all three come to position and i'll just click horizontal but the reason why it is still too close is because they were all close to each other so i was spacing it up spacing it up okay and just to make sure they are all tidied up well okay it's tidied up well and then i did well so i can reduce this one a little bit move it in okay then i change color so i change this one also to white or you can change it to yellow but the thing is if you are ch changing one to yellow then all should be yellow if you are changing one to white then all should be white okay so that's what we need to have in mind so i will duplicate this text we i have over here okay then i come to effect and i'll take off the shadow rotate it back to zero okay nice one and um, it still doesn't okay it looks now i can see follow us on okay then i stretch this out and reduce the size of this then i can move it to the top okay so after i do that i select all of this and i unselect this and i move it down okay so this is still looking too big to me and i think I should rather change the font, you know, the, the typeface. So I should find a lighter um, version of the same font so that, you know, we, we just don't want to give it so much attention. Then the text looks too close to each other. If your text is also the same way, what you can do is to come to spacing and letter spacing, increase it a little bit. Okay, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, nice one select all text you know, all the icons down here and this move it nicely okay so this is what we have at the moment so what i'm going to do is to select all of this move it here small okay and i'm going to add a simple call to action down here so with this i can choose another um, typeface okay so i can use something like Montserrat or quicksand and i like quicksand these days so i'll use quicksand okay I choose it then what I'm going to do is I will reduce the size of it and I'll position it down here okay so I can say ready to give okay let me just do okay ready to give your brand a boost okay then I select or come here change the line spacing reduce a little bit change the alignment to left because you can see we are just everything looks um everything looks as if they've been aligned to the left so we just do the same for this okay and um maybe i'll shift this uh, just a little bit okay so and move this one to the top then i change this to white okay so now that i've changed it to white i'll just move to the top a little bit come to shapes okay so we close this and we just have to search for shapes okay so we come to all the shapes we have over here and i think we can choose circle let's see something and stretch it out but you see it doesn't look cute at all so what we are going to do is to search for the u shape we have over here you understand and um we can rotate it to 90 degrees i believe okay yes then you can stretch this part out duplicate it and rotate this part also to negative 90 degrees okay negative 90 degrees then you make sure you arrange it beautifully okay like this select both of them group them and reduce i know this is a bit fast for you but i also don't want to waste your time you know okay so i do this and you can see this is looking short so we can ungroup first okay click on one of them and just drag it okay then you can group them again and um, you can also change the colors for both so we can make it yellow all right all right okay so now that we have this what we can do is we can add a circle inside of it so i click on this reduce the circle okay and position it here and move it in the circle should be a bit smaller okay 
remove this here change the color to white okay then we can put any icon in there so let me reduce the size okay okay it's looking better now and uh, we are going to put a call to action there i can say contact us okay so contact okay, us well, we can even make it all caps if we want but because we are not using all caps you know in most of the text that's why i also want us to keep it simple okay okay so you just have to center it with your um with your keyboard with your arrow key not your keyboard okay so i can see contact us now okay so that we can push this in okay and we reduce this one and now drop it down a little bit okay then we can just use an arrow so a r r o w search for arrow and we can choose even if it's not an arrow you can even use a, um, a triangle okay so we choose the size very small and position it inside here then come to the color you can choose the black the black color okay okay so this is something beautiful we have at the moment okay so i just want to add some little things on my text so i can choose splash no search for splash s p l a s h okay okay so it should load quickly and i will come to graphics okay because i don't want any animated stuff so i can yeah choose this is what i was looking for rotate it this way okay then after you rotate it this way you can reduce the you know the size of it and i can position this one here so creative and um i can also choose this one rotate it the other way around but with this okay we have the option to change color okay then i can move this one here reduce it more Okay, and maybe bring it to the top here and then we take it down a bit and I can also change the color to yellow you understand so these are interesting things we can just do to make everything look beautiful so I can duplicate this one and bring it down here okay then we can move it also down here so you can see how this is looking then you can uh what we can also do is come back to element choose just um maybe search for any shape at all if it's a circle okay so i'll choose circle and um i just want the outlined one to so something like this come to color you can change the color to white or yellow or any color at all you think could be cool uh, you can also just you know be sprinkling it around so I would maybe sprinkle it somewhere here so you can see this is what we have maybe i'll just uh, let me just take this off so you can see this is what we have been able to create in canva and um, just in case you can hear some noise outside just pardon me for that so the name is benjamin and if you want more canva tutorials like this make sure to hit on the subscribe button and the bell next to it always remember there is no limit to creativity and i will definitely see you in my next video.